So here's my setup. As you can see, it's very simple, just three ingredients, dried lavender buds, sea salt, and an oil of choice. I'm gonna get going on this uh, right away, and then I'll explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it as I go. So we are making layers of lavender buds and sea salt in the jar. Just gonna do any random amount. Layer of salt on top of that. First question is probably gonna be, why am I putting salt in the jar? You don't have to use salt. It depends uh, how freshly picked your lavender buds are, but there could be moisture still trapped inside there, especially if they're very freshly picked. And when you mix the oil in there, that moisture will be displaced and separate. Putting a layer of salt in here just absorbs any water that might get released from those lavender buds, and it's not gonna have any effect on the finished product. So I'm doing this as quick as I can here. Make a little bit of a mess, but never hurt anybody. And get all the way to the top. So there I've got my layers of lavender and sea salt. Now we're gonna pour the oil in here. I've chosen grapeseed oil today. I like the way grapeseed oil feels on the skin. It absorbs quickly. It never feels sticky and it doesn't have any smell at all. So the only thing that we're going to smell when this is done is the lavender. There are a lot of choices for oils. You should choose whatever fits your budget or what feels best on your skin or maybe just what you've already got around the house. But remember that some of them do have a smell, particularly olive oil and almond oil and that smell will come through with the lavender when you're finished with this. So we're just gonna kind of slowly pour oil all the way in and it's kind of dense and so we're gonna have to let it sink down through there. Okay, it's not taking too long. left to do next is to cap it off and wait. Some people put it in a paper bag or put aluminum foil around it so that it doesn't get exposed to any light that could cause discoloring or something. Uh, I think if you just put it in a cover or somewhere dark, that's work. gonna work just fine. So there you have it. Leave that at least one week, uh, two weeks if you're not in a hurry to get all of the good smells out of those lavender buds and then just pour it through a regular strainer or a t-shirt or a coffee filter uh, which will take a little bit longer into another jar uh, and you've got some completely wonderfully naturally scented uh, lavender infused oil.